Can they come out? The females that are in there? The, the females out there are fine. Huh? Yeah. This girl, she came to my house. She's been sleeping with my fiance. Mm. She works over there. He, she's his manager, and she keeps on forcing him to have sex with her after he'd been cut it off, or she's gonna fire him. And we ended up fighting right there because she approached my home. This is my home. She lives all the way over there. Okay, is everybody in the house right now? Oh, just me. I'm the only one that fought. Just me, the girl she left. Is your sister involved? Oh, yeah. My sister? Yeah, is she? No, she. that's my sister-in-law. She is was she there. involved? She was there. Are you two arguing? Are you no, we're not arguing. Okay, okay, so let's go inside. The female that he's been sleeping with. Him? Yes, my okay. fiance that I've known for five years. Okay. We moved here together from up north. He has worked, he's worked, he works at Floor and Decor. He's been sleeping with his manager. And that too is here? Yes. Okay. And I've been feeling it for some time now. Okay. Yesterday I'm walking to Quick Trip. I see them walking together. And you're a woman, you know our intuition. I know that's the girl. Mm -hmm. I've seen her, we argued yesterday, he broke it up, it was fine. This morning now, she's calling, calling, text him, text him, text him, saying that she's going to be coming here. In August 2022, Antonetta Stevens learned her boyfriend had been having an affair with his co-worker, 30-year-old Ashley Bocanegra. Antonetta then lured Ashley to their home and attacked her outside with her sister-in-law, Janine. Where's she at? She's walking out the park. Hold the phone now. By the what? By the pool? Oh, okay. All right, bro, where are we going? Look at her, right there, right there. Oh, guess what? That was me, you know who is. Get f***ed up. Get off me. Get off my hair, I'm gonna f*** you up. Let me go then. Get off me. Say hi to Daniel. Get off me. Say hi to Daniel. Get the f*** off you me. You know he said I could come out here and f*** you uh, up, right? Okay, good. You know that, right? Uh-huh. He's in the house with our son. Okay, well. He so said I could f*** you up. Yep, this is what we do. If I get mad and he knows uh -huh. I'm leaving, he feels sad. He says, I'll let you f*** her up. That's what I'm doing, f***ing you up. All right. Tell me everything. Hey, you got it, get off. Nope. Get no, off. you ain't got nope. You don't, you don't get to say something. my so. man, right? Uh -huh. Won't be in front of my man, right? Get off. Right, you his manager? I'm getting you fired, That's bias. Yeah. Okay, yep, that's a conflict that. of interest. You I'm showing this to the job. Okay. You're f***ing my while he's on the clock. Okay. My going there trying to ruin his family. He has uh -huh. a whole son, you're mad for him? Okay. Get off. Get the f*** does that? Can I tell you? Get the f off me. Yeah. You're jumping both of us for your phone. We're come on. Let's go. Let's go. No. Police then came briefly to talk to Antonetta and Janine about the fight. I know that that was the girls that were walking. They went to quick trip. I'm Detective Carter with Gwinnett County Police. Are you yes. your internet? Yes. Hi. Hey, this is Detective Poppy or Sergeant Poppy. Hi, nice to meet you. We Hello. know that there was like an incident. Yeah. That happened earlier today. Mm -hmm. Has anyone called you about it since? No. Was somebody supposed to? Well, we just got another call about it. So I guess okay. the girl went to the hospital. Okay. And she died. She died. She's dead. So, but we know that there was like an altercation that happened beforehand and that was mutual and she came here yeah we understand that yeah so but we because I of it i'm going to kill anybody yeah I'm not that person. i get it yeah. but because of that we have to kind of talk to you guys and get a more formal statement true okay um mm -hmm. wow i'm so sorry about that um yeah that was not my intention um i've been mentally going through a lot mm -hmm. um i have bipolar depression and I'm just going through a lot right now and you know I came here from up north um, with my fiance that's him hey I came here with my fiance yeah um so I came are you here. the sister the yeah sister. okay sister. um uh -huh. I came here with my fiance um to start a new life buy a house everything like that and I never expected him to basically cheat on well, me with someone at the workplace Ms. you know what Ms. i'm Stevens. saying so we would like to get like a formal statement so we're going to ask that you come up to our headquarters and talk to us it's just right up the street they talked to a clueless daniel and Netta's boyfriend about what happened to ashley bocanegra we'll come back here and talk to you i understand you got kids so we'll just leave you here for now with your kids um we're going to take her up and talk to her 
and your sister's gonna go. So just two cars, so one more car, that's it. And then we'll go from there, okay? Yes, sir. Um, how long have you lived here? About like a year. About a year? Yeah. yeah. Um, do you know Ashley? Yes, sir. How do you know Ashley? I do not even have an emotional relationship. Okay. So, they had the altercation earlier this afternoon. Yes, sir. Okay, which you don't I know was, anything about. No, I was informed that while I was sleeping, she went in my phone, took my phone, and yes, she, she deleted the messages from not even online. She mm -hmm. gave me back my phone, and it was like, seemed like it was untouched. Yeah. She texted the woman and said, hey, she, she basically acted like she was me. I know, I, she probably, I swear she probably still has the messages, Ashley. So, um, she texted me and she was like, well, she acted like she was me. And she said, hey, my wife kicked me down. She's not my wife, but she said that, I guess that's what she said. When it came out, and So she kicked me out and come meet me. Uh, she used basically her, her, her emotional, the way she feels towards me yeah. to get her over here. And when she got her over here, Hey, call. Go ahead and just take them over by your car. What's going to happen? Just go ahead and take them over We're by gonna, your we'll car, please. We are. Hold on one second. So then she came over, so she asked her to come over. She was pretending to be you. Yes, ma'am. And then what? She fought her. She had to because the way when I opened, I, I literally woke up and was like, all When you say she fought her, like, She had to fight who? her. Because they had to fight or get in the altercation because when, like, when I heard this, like, I literally woke up and I'm like, what the heck? And all I hear is them yelling when my sister and my sister and her, you know, I guess, like, hyped. So like Ashley came here to your door because they took her phone. I guess that she had. They took her phone. Like had to give it back. Oh, they took her phone. Yes. Okay. Because she was gonna text. Um, I guess her man and, and like you know. Mm -hmm. She was pretty. She was hurt. So, but she's not. I wake up and I'm like, I'm like, oh, there's knocking that door, but I hear bigger. So I'm like, yo, y'all don't hear this door? I'm like, what the heck? I open the door <laughs> and I just see. And I just closed it immediately. How like, did she look when you when she opened the door? I don't know. I'm not gonna lie. If she she looked up. Yeah. About it afterwards. No, the only thing she said is, "Why would you do this to me?" And I told her like, "We we're not like the love the love interest is gone. Everything like I told her just yesterday mm -hmm. when she saw me walking with the girl. Oh, that okay. Was, and I stopped her. I was like, "You're not gonna you're not gonna fight her because of what we're going to." It's not. It's not her fault. You know. Did she message? Yes. Ashley, yes, from your phone, yes, and I'm pretty pretending sure to be you. Her. Yes. There's about what happened to your sister kicked me in the back by my heart and chest. Yes, and I know she has heart problems. Like this is like crazy to me. Like, like it's not like this is fresh. Like I'm over here cheating on this woman. I'm not. I we've been like this has been a toxic environment, and she's just been trying to figure out what to do and I've been trying to figure out what to do but but she doesn't want nobody to leave where you at I need to see you I'm in the bed I want you here so bad is she hurt I want to see you like real bad so honestly I'm, I'm not gonna make a show I'm not gonna go and yell I'm not, I'm not gonna go call her I just just want to know well yeah we got a call from the hospital a little while ago and she actually passed away from No, her. stop playing with me, no, please. No, seriously. Please stop playing no, with me. Sure. Please stop playing with me. Please sit down, 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 sit down. Please stop playing with me. Shh, breathe, breathe, breathe. Breathe. Please stop playing with me, Matthew. Breathe, breathe. Look at me, look at me. Breathe. always, always. Oh, my heart. As soon as she left, that shit was crazy. Detectives bring in Antonetta and Janine for questioning, and Janine is ready to tell detectives everything. Just go through basically, since I wasn't there, and I'm, I'm playing catch up basically. So, what okay. happened? So, like, let me start to where it lead it. Mm -hmm. Okay. That way. Oh, okay. So, like, since I've been down here, they, they haven't been on good terms. So, you know, arguments back to back. So like we just came back from Florida like not too long ago from her mom's wedding mm -hmm. and we left on bad terms with everybody because my brother got into a you know incident with her stepdad. So ever since that happened and we left Florida, it just been rocky, rockier. It's just been worse than arguments. And stuff. So yeah, sorry I just cursed. You're fine. Girl. Okay. Yeah. You, I fucked so, up earlier. Okay. <laughs> okay. So like. You know, they're arguing or whatever. 
So, my brother, him being a man, cheats. Like always, you know, he's feeling less than he thinks it's okay to cheat, so, you know. He tells me, so, he tells me who is he cheating with and stuff. Now, me and my stepsister, I mean, not my stepsister, my sister-in-law, we're yeah. very close, like, so close, like, you understand. Like, she's more of a sister to me than my brother's a brother to me, you know? Okay. Yeah. Very so, close. like, we're very close. Yeah. So, once he told me, <laughs> I was just like, ooh, I just tell her. <laughs> <laughs> it's girl code. You yes, have to, right? right? So, especially when, right after he told her, after he told me what he, what he was doing, he wanted to do it with her. So I was just like, mm -mm, I'm about to tell her. Two days prior before this day, um, we were just chilling. She was working, and Daniel did something to her to make her upset. So we were talking or whatever. And I was just like, oh, I forgot to tell you. No, I didn't forget, mm -hmm. but I still, you know. So I was like, um, told her what happened. He explained what she did or whatever. She was like, oh, really? She's upset or whatever. I was like, don't tell him that's on me because he's going to be mad at me. Right. Okay, so after that, um, he explained how the girl looked to me, though. And, you know, curly hair, Puerto Rican, skinny girl. So I was like, all right. So then I explained it to Janetta. So the next day after that, we went to the store. Last night. Mm -hmm. Last night. We went to the store last night, and we were walking the Crip Trip. Quick trip is right there, you know. I thought that's why y'all walk earlier. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was you guys. <laughs> okay, so we walked to Quick Trip. As we're walking to Quick Trip, the both of them are walking together from Quick Trip. So they're just now leaving and we're just now coming. So Internet is like, is that Daniel walking? So now she runs to him like, who is this? So he's like, oh, it's my work or whatever, whatever. Mind you, before we walked to Quick Trip, we asked him, when you go on your break, can you take us to the store? He said he couldn't leave on his break. So when we saw them walking, it was like, you just said you couldn't leave on your break. Now you walk with her to the store. So after that, she's kicking Daniel or whatever. She don't want to live with him no more. It's either he can leave or she's going to leave. And you know, she got to leave with the kids and everything. So it would make sense if he just left. So he's getting kicked out or whatever. And then I guess I guess she was coming to see him. He was getting kicked out. I don't, I don't know. I was in those messages. I'm not sure what was that. But I guess she was coming to see him because he was getting kicked out. And it's not us all the messages. So she decides. Like yeah, now she's about to come see you. Now I'm about to beat her up. Cause I just you you just saved me from her the other day. No, mm -hmm. you know that's how it was. So she's coming. So it's Netta and me, we go to, we go, and she comes to the house, you know, big fight, it's a big fight, so, uh, after the fight, um, we took her phone, we were going to call her husband to let her know that, you know, it's just, just there's some love. Okay, so we close the door, she starts banging the door like crazy, because, you know, we got her phone, so she wants her phone back. Mm -hmm. So then I gave her her phone back, and then I don't know what the hell happened after. Oh, uh, she gave her her phone back. Literally, like she left right after. I, I don't know what. I don't know how she left. Like I wasn't watching after that, cause my brother was mad as hell, and uh, you know he don't want me in the business. I was already in it too much. Like he's like on my ass, so I'm just like okay. So I don't know what happened after she left, but literally right after she left. A third party called the police. They came, you know, made a report, and then after that it was over or whatever. And then, just know you guys came. Yeah, that's that's all I know. When you guys uh, fought, how long did that fight last? Uh, three two minutes. Okay. Yeah, it was it was early. But yeah, that's about it. Uh, have you ever been in fights before? Me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have? Oh. Okay. You seem kind of athletic. You, you play sports when you were in school? <laughs> no, 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 no. No. Okay. Yeah. 
Do I really look athletic? Yeah, you look athletic. Yeah, you got some some shoulders on you. <laughs> Why would you do that? Yeah. You don't know if I just really care about these shoulders. I say that you know I don't go out looking to harm anybody. Um, that's not my intention. I do feel you know very remorseful about anything that has happened with that that young lady. Um, I will also say that, you know, it wasn't my intention to even get into an altercation with her today. Um, she came over to my place of residence looking for my fiance. We argued, I was hit, we fought. Um, I feel really bad, but you know, I really, I'm, I don't know, I'm just, you know, it's just, this is just too much. Okay. You okay? No, I'm not. I'm just, you know, I have kids. I, I don't, I, just, I don't know how to feel, man. I've been going through too much. Tell, tell us about that, like how did that happen? It was very vivid. She I know she, it, it happened so came. bad, you know, fights yeah. are just like a blur when it happens, yeah. but... Where was she, I know you said, you, you said earlier she came looking for him. She, she came because he was moving, he was getting kicked out and she wanted to be a little writer. Mm -hmm. When she knows she was searching and she got her husband at home, I'm like, girl. I know, she's breaking up a happy home, but where was she mm -hmm. at, like... No, she has a husband as well. That's yeah, no, husband. but where was she at? Um, what do you mean? You said she came and looked for him. Where was she at? How did y'all How did y'all make contact with her? Through messages. Where did you meet up? She was She was in our complex. I guess she lives like right near us. I think like there's like two sides of the complex. So you know that hill? Yeah. It goes around and like when it goes up and around, there's another complex that looks just like the same. Mm -hmm. side. So did she knock on the door at first, or you guys just saw her outside? Outside, she didn't, she didn't knock. She didn't get the chance to. Okay. Cause like, oh yeah, you got this bitch coming. I'm about to be her own. So yeah. Did you guys start yelling at her before you guys approached her, or how that go down? Yeah. Yeah. Tell us about that. It wasn't really all. Uh, yeah, it was just like, yeah, and you can't see my. And then it was just fine after that. She knew what it was because she she got ready to, you know, and it, it was just fighting. Who was fighting? Um, the girl and another. Everybody? No. Girl, you ain't getting on there? No. I, yeah. Of course you did. I know you did. Just, just, just a little bit. You got <laughs> that's cause that, that, like you said, that's your home girl. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, yeah. Tell me about that. How that happened? I didn't. I didn't go. I didn't go crazy though, cause she's small as hell. Like, mm -hmm. you're enough already. I don't need to be punching her, dragging her. I don't need to do all that. I'm good. Like in the beginning, she got on the floor, and I kind of like dragged her just a little bit, just a little bit. And then, and then I, and then I stopped. I was just like, it's hard. The adrenaline's going, you know. You gotta. Yeah, I was just like, okay, let me stop. And then they're just fighting. And yeah, yeah just, just a little, just a little hit. So I didn't really fight yeah. her. That, that's just crazy. What made it stop? Oh, uh, I don't know. Is it? I don't know. That's a weird question. I, I never know. Like, like, was she like was she saying anything or Ashley? I mean, no, she was. She was just. I never. I never. Out of all fights I've been in, I never saw somebody talk during a fight. Like, why mm -hmm. are you gonna be up talking? Mm -hmm. I never, never met somebody that. Ever what was she that. saying? She was just like. She was just, you know, talking. Oh. He doesn't want you. That's why he's alone with me. Just, just like that. Yeah. Don't out in the air. And then, like, it was just such a weird fight. Like, she was just like, she just was kept on talking. Then she was like, "Aren't you his sister?" And it was just laughing all time. It was just weird. She was, she was a weird person. Huh? You said she said grab the phone. Yeah. Answer that. Said grab the phone. Yeah, I grabbed it. Okay. When she was um, talking back, uh, with the stuff that she was saying. Like, yeah, I don't care. She's angry. She's mad. Cause, Cause like, she was. Listen, I I don't get bothered by, by people who talk stuff. You gotta like really do something to me, you know. She was talking That's about your like, brother though. 
And your sister. Yeah, but it was just like, so. Thank you. So you weren't mad? You was just not so alive to play whatever? Yeah, I, was, I can't be that bad now. Come on. She knew what it was. Every, you're going to talk to regardless. It's a fight. What do you expect? So mm -hmm. I'm just like, uh, I've been in, I've been in multiple fights. Big time. They brought. So you were just standing over them as they were fighting? Yeah, I'm just like, what the But then I walked away to them. It was mad as hell. He, he, like I said, every time I... Just me getting in the business period, he gets angry, and I don't got time for him. Yeah. But he was sleeping when the fight was happening outside, right? Because you said that she woke him up. Yes, yeah, she did. By she, you mean Ashley, right? Uh uh. Who who woke Daniel up? She did. Um, who she? Antonetta. Okay, so you guys were outside fighting. No. We woke him up when Ash when we knew where Ashley was coming, and then. We was like, yeah, like she's about to get beat up because now you're getting kicked down. She thinks it's okay to come save you. Like, who is she? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't been together for how long? Like that was weird. So yeah. How did you guys? How did you guys find the messages again? His phone. Okay. Did you find it or did she find it? She found it. Antoinette. Mm -hmm. Okay. How did she like? Where were you at? Did you come? How did that happen? Um, she came to me. We were reading the messages. And we're like, yeah, that's the girl that's the, that we just saw. Yeah. Yeah. Did you guys text her? Mm -mm. What do you mean? Did you guys send messages to her? No, we don't get her number. No, I mean from his phone. Oh, from his phone? Mm -hmm. No, no, I don't think so, no. Okay. Mm -hmm. You sure? Yeah. Because you, you messed up your story a little bit. I already read the messages. You messed up a little bit. What was the messages? He wasn't getting kicked out. Mm -mm. I don't know. <laughs> what the hell? I, I didn't. I only saw the messages where he was cheating. So I'm not sure if anybody texted her. For sure? You know? Yeah. So Antoinette just sent the message to her. I'm positive side. myself. I'm positive. But yeah, I don't know if there's any messages sent to that lady. Cause I, I can't say I didn't know if there's messages sent. I don't know what's said. So she was like, just texting her. That's why I said we were getting kicked out. I don't know what was said. So you didn't send the messages, she just sent the messages. Yeah, cause I don't know what was said in those messages. But I know from seeing them arguing, he was getting kicked out. Okay, so you didn't see no messages, Antoine, I just told you about it, and then no, when I, I was texting saw, her? I saw the messages where he was cheating. What did those say? Oh, I'm feeling you, I'm mm -hmm. falling for you, something like that, hurting each other. And that's when Antoinette showed those, she showed those to you, and that's when she started messaging her? Yeah, she showed those to me, mm -hmm. and then she sent a message to her. Antoinette sent the message to Ashley? No, no yeah, I guess. Did she tell you what she was sending? Did, like, the words and shit? No, I don't know what she said. You mean you had to know something? You knew she was outside. But I, yeah, I didn't know she was outside. Of course I knew she was outside, because if she about to go fight, I'm coming with her. But earlier in the day, she didn't know that she was walking into a fight. Yeah. No, she's dead. I know that's crazy. Do you know how she died? Like from the, fighting the injuries of her death. So they had like, to do an autopsy, but it was a it was a result of her uh, the injury she sustained during the fight. An autopsy was done, and it was determined she died from trauma with rupture of the right adrenal gland and she had blunt force trauma to her head and her brain and back had hemorrhaging. Her manner of death was listed as a homicide. Make you feel. This make you feel like I'm going to hell. That, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Like, that's really crazy. Life is crazy. Mm -hmm. yeah. And she's not a big girl. No, she isn't. That's why, that's why I didn't watch her. She, she's too small. I, I, I looked at her and I'm just like, how old are you? She told me she was 30. I'm like, you're, you're like, you're very small for your age to be 30. 
Like she looked sick, skinny. So I was cool. I was like, nah. I her shit was pretty fucked. I don't know. Damon saw it. He said, when I opened the door, I saw her. I was like, oh, and I slammed the door because she was so fucked up. Yeah, he did do that. 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 He, he that. said he was shocked because I did it. I don't know, cause I really, I really didn't see her after that. Like they had me sitting in the back, cause they was on my. Janine Gonzalez then finds out that she is going to be charged and what her charges are. Robbery. Oh, no. <laughs> what robbery? Yeah. We didn't steal her phone. We took it so she could come to the house. Oh, you took it. Yeah, she you didn't got steal she it. got her phone back. Ah. I told you she wasn't leaving unless she got. We gave her back her phone. We just did it so we could call her husband, but we changed her mind. Ah, okay. Yeah, for the day, she got her phone she, back. She she says okay for you to take it. No. Okay. Yeah, that's a robbery. Um, the <laughs> other charge okay. is uh, murder. Murder? Yep. You're being charged with murder. Me? Yep. Whoa. That's, 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 that's too deep. bad. That's deep, right? Yeah, that's, that's f insane. Yeah. No, 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 no. What? Murder? I put the laid hands on her. All I did was pull her hair. The murder of Ashley made a left a big impact as her children are now left without their mother. Antoinette and Janine were both charged with robbery and murder. They eventually went to court and both received a sentence of 20 years in prison for involuntary manslaughter and robbery by force. They will remain there till 2042.